In this video we will learn how to create good quality hex meshing using ICEM Interactive, and use the batch file to reproduce the mesh for a parametric geometry. First we will import a design modeler geometry. Now we will open the meshing module. In the meshing window, we will right click and insert method. For geometry we will select the whole body. The method will be multi-zone. Enable write ICEM file option to interactive. Change physics preference to CFD. In the quality menu disable check mesh quality. Give a suitable size for mesh element. As a rule mesh element size should be at least five times smaller than smallest edge. In the multi-zone method options change free mesh to hex core. Generate the mesh. This will open an other window. ICEM has a mesh already, but we will create a new mesh using blocking and O grid. Go to File, then go to Replay Scripts and then Load Script. Open the default script file. In the script search for Please Add You Commands Here line, then use Insert option to add a blank line below and select it. Make sure recording is on and minimize the window. Don't close it. Now in the Blocking tab, click on Create Block. Click on OK and then Replace. A new hex meshing block has appeared. Now click on Associate icon. Select Curve option. Enable Project Vertices. Select top four edges with left mouse button. Press middle mouse button to finish selection, then select top curve with left mouse button, and then press middle mouse button. Similarly at the bottom. Now go to split block. Enable project vertices. Then click on any of the vertical edges. Then press middle mouse button. Then repeat to split again. Associate these new edges with respective in-between curves. Now we need to create blocks for inlet and outlet. Add the splits on top and bottom of the circles. Similarly add vertical splits. Go to Create Block and select Extrude option. Change the method to Fix Distance. Mm -hmm. 
Now select the corresponding faces at inlet and outlet faces of the geometry, give a distance of arbitrary value. Associate the edges of extruded blocks to corresponding curves and blocking associations as before. Now go to Align Vertices and select Align by Direction. Align the vertices to smooth out the sharp inflections, and to completely define the blocking splits. Select two points to set direction, and then select the points associate with the line. Now go to Blocking Associations and select Snap Project Vertices, and press OK. This will project vertices to faces. Our previous alignment and associations will stay intact. Go to Split Block and select Second Option, that is O Grid. Now we will split the blocking to O Grid. Since we want O Grid on all the blocks we will select All Visible. Select the Desire Faces. The O-Grids maps hex mesh on the faces, and then extends it through blocks. O-Grid was successful. Now go to Pre-Mesh and press OK. Pre-Mesh is Initial Mesh. We have all hex element and quads. To see the mesh enable Pre-Mesh and blocking in the sidebar, The mesh is very structured. Now we will generate mesh from pre-mesh. Go to File, Mesh, Load from Pre-Mesh, Replace. Save the script and project. Close eyes and the mesh is now loaded.
change script from interactive to batch. Now we've changed the sizing from the meshing window and generate. The ANSYS uses previously recorded script to create structured mesh. And this way we can automate the meshing process. This works very well with parametric geometries and generate reproducible structured mesh. To see the section view click on global coordinate system and select section plane from top, draw a line to bisect the model. We have defined the dimensions of geometry as parameters. Now we will change the one of the dimensions and generate again. Set the model as current. Update the meshing. For a parametric geometry the mesh works, because we have associated the blocking in the ICEM script with the geometric entities. That's it for now subscribe, like and comment for more.